Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the topic interface of the cell cycle. We have already introduced ourselves to this term interface and we know this is the phase where the cell is actually preparing itself in order to divide. Now let us see actually what are the activities a cell is performing in this phase known as the interface. This phase called interface involves a series of changes that is happening both inside the cell that is in the cytoplasm as well as the changes that is happening inside the nucleus. So it involves all the changes inside the cell. This phase of interphase is also known as the intermitosis. It happens before the M phase or the mitosis. Now this phase called the interphase was previously initially thought as a resting phase. Why? Because scientists thought that in this phase the cell is doing nothing, it is sitting idle and becoming ready in order to divide. But later on it was discovered that the, this phase involves a lot of changes and the cell is highly active in this phase because it is making a lot of things in order to divide in the next stage. So it is highly active stage. Here in the interface the cell grows in size, its size doubles and its growth happens in this phase. This phase called interphase it involves about 75 to 95 percent of the total generation time. Now what do we mean by generation time? Generation time is the total time taken by a parent cell in order to divide into new daughter cells. So about 95 percent of the whole time of the generation time is being taken by this phase called interphase. Now this interphase is again subdivided into three important phases which are known as the G1, the S and followed by the G2 phase. In our coming videos, we are going to talk about the detailed activities that a cell is performing in these phases called the G1, S and G2 phase. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.